Hello everybody and welcome back to Manor Lords, where last episode we fought off two separate attacks back to back, and that was quite extensive. But I want to do something about this field. This field is too large, so I'm going to demolish this. There we go. And we're going to change that field. It's of course fallow right now, so there's no problem whatsoever with that. I kind of want to bring it all the way down to the road this time, but we're going to bring it in essentially quarters here. So something like this. One field here. This is going to be a field up this way, approximately there. I don't like these snap points, but I guess it'll do. And then we'll do a field out over here. It'll go kind of like this, I think, down to about here, like that. And then another field up here. And this is just because of the way that uh, plowing priority ends up working. This field will have to be redone. And I think these, this field maybe should get split up as well. But for the moment, this will do. So all of these are fallow. That seems fine. Now it's June. We're not going to be making any significant crop changes for a bit. This field clearly needs to get redone, but that's fine. These fields have been redone and are fallow. I'm fairly content with this field setup. And up over here, I think maybe we should redo these and split them all up into two fields. So not this one up here, but these other three. So it'll be something like that. And then I'm going to construct a field here. That's going to go down to about here or so. We're trying to keep it at around a size of a Morgan or so approximately. So one about there, one will come down to about here, like that. One will go down to the road. We've got some potential fertility issues over here, but that's reasonably expected. And then one will come up like so. And then the final two fields I'm going to have be like this, and then like this. Okay. And again, that's for plowing reasons. We'll do the same thing up here, once these are fallow. So that seems fine for now. Okay. Now we need to be focused in terms of money on making enough for the royal tax. Walbrand is struggling financially a bit, and I'm wondering what are we importing here at this moment? I believe we're importing a little bit of iron. We're exporting planks, which isn't, you know, fantastic in terms of the export. Let's see, we have all of, we have a thousand war bows at this moment. I'm not sure that these actually get exported. And I do want, I think, to export some tools. I want to have a surplus of like 10 of them. There's no export price, allegedly. Okay, we may actually need to establish a trade route to do this. Let's establish a trade route on war bows. And we'll see what happens with that. Okay, so that means that that's, that's now five. Gotcha. That sounds good. So we probably want to do the same thing on, like, small shields and large shields. I want to keep a hundred of those around as well. So small and large shields. We can establish a trade route for both of these, but that's getting pretty expensive. So for now, that seems relatively okay. Now, I believe we are importing iron here. Yes, and that's quite expensive to do. So that is definitely understood. We're exporting wooden parts, but we don't actually have any. And same with linen. So that is definitely a thing. We want a surplus of 10 herbs, and we have zero right now. So we probably shouldn't trade herbs at all for the moment. And wool, we don't have any in stock at the moment either. We may want to put more workers into our sheep farm, something like this for the time being. And that should go reasonably well. Okay. So we need to get Walbrun's regional wealth up, and trade is really the best way to do that. So I do want to head over to our blacksmith. Our blacksmith is currently working on producing spears. If we check into our armies here, recruits, 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 ready, recruits, recruits, and equipment. That's understood, but that is not over here. So I'm going to have the blacksmith for now be focused on making tools. We'll build these if we need them, but for the time being, we don't need them. 
Down here, of course, we are having this be a Fletcher's shop. So that seems good for now. We're going to proceed forward and get that Fletcher's shop completed. This is now going to be working on building Warpos. Which means that we are, of course, going to get access to this Archer Militia, which we should have enough people to populate. So that looks absolutely fine. Getting gold is, of course, our highest priority at this moment. And we can see this guy's over here digging graves. Okay. And do we have anybody in the corpse pit right now? We don't. We maybe should have a family here, but I think for the moment we'll leave this be. Okay, so we have 404 regional wealth here. Over here we've got 223. We're definitely going to be utilizing the... Uh, the trader over here. I think maybe we should export planks as well. Let's establish a trade route here for planks. We have lots and lots of planks. We could also order a horse, but I don't want to drop our regional wealth anymore over here. Food is definitely still a concern in Waldbridge. It's June right now. We're working on these berries, but the berries are consumed by the dyer's workshop. So that is definitely noted. We do have all of these burgages here. A lot of these are being worked pretty regularly throughout the summer and winter by our farmers. Of course, farmers are mostly only active in the spring and fall. In this game, at least. So that is fine. They can continue to work all of this. So that is good. We absolutely want more food. What do we have in our hunting camp? We have two. Okay. How are we doing on that wild animal deposit? It's okay. So we did put in more people into our sheep farm because I would like to do some wool exporting. We should be well set up for that, in theory. Minus one ale at this moment. Okay. We do have a brewer. Do we only have the one brewery? I think we only have the one brewery right now. This is the vegetable garden here. We might want to switch that over into a brewery. The question is, do we have enough malt to sustain two brewers? I'm going to guess that that's probably a no. We've got 25 malt right now. I feel like that's not really enough, probably because our barley, our barley harvest has not been great because we've been optimizing our plowing. So that is, I guess, fine. For the time being, of course, we're waiting for some of these guys to fill up their positions here. Ah, we're up to eight equipment in our archer militia out over here now. That's looking very good. So it is still June, and this is absolutely fine here. So we're going to be growing more crops over here. We're going to further expand all of this, of course, eventually. But for now, that's fine. What's less fine is our food situation here. Royal tax increased. Okay, 509? Okay. We're definitely going to need to do something about that. It is, of course, July now. So that's fine. Can we interact with the crown at all in our diplomacy? These are outlaws. We have 3,866 influence. So we can claim one of these up here. I'm not really prepared to do that right now. But it is definitely something that is on the agenda. We would probably claim these two down here, get new villages set up there and there, and then head up over this direction would be the way. Hildebolt here, he's, uh, he tried to attack us. It did not go well. So that's fantastic. Now we have this pasture down here. And honestly, I'm going to demolish that. I think we'll add in some extra fields over here. These are going to be fallow this year, so we're not going to bother planting them. It's really bad fertility in this area, and that is understood. But we can add in two additional fields here, and it'll be okay-ish. Fertility is better out over here. We really should be probably planting here or here, but eh, I'm sure it'll be fine. So these are going to remain fallow, and next year, the fallow fields over here are going to be these fields. So these will all be fallow next year. These will be planted. These will be planted. Okay. 
So that seems fine. How are we doing for tools over here? Well, we have one tool at this moment. We're at 237 wealth. I think, are we net positive to import iron and export tools? Uh, let's see here, trade and commodities. So tools are exporting at no cost right now. We would need to establish a trade route. Okay, go ahead and do that. And now it's six. So importing iron slabs is four to 14. Okay, so it's probably not worthwhile to establish a trade route. Okay, noted. At least for that particular situation. The tools should probably be made here instead and exported here. But then what are we going to export here, right? So for now, I guess that's okay. We'll continue to do this, but it is net negative at this moment with the importing, importation of iron. I wish there was a way to set up a direct trade between these two towns. Maybe there is. Or maybe that's a work in progress. It's hard to say exactly. But if this town could provide the iron for this town, that would be ideal. And vice versa down here, where this town would provide, in theory, the food for this town. And then they just trade commodities back and forth. So they trade here, they trade food for finished things like war bows, spears, tools, things like that. These guys would trade raw iron and raw clay. For the same thing. Uh, the clay would probably be exported in under that un, under that trade regime, so that that would probably be how that would go. Of course, I'm still concerned about food here. Two months of food is not a lot of food. It is currently July, and the harvest is going to come in, and this will be a mildly better harvest than the last harvest. Definitely mildly better. So that is absolutely understood. Keep in mind, though, we currently don't have anyone grinding flour, and we don't have anyone actually baking, I think. I'm 99% sure we have no flour on hand. So that is a big part of the reason why we're not seeing our food go up. However, I will say, we're not seeing our food go down, and we're not baking. So that's very interesting. Waldbrand is running out of food. Okay, now our food did go down. That said, we will be getting our vegetable harvest, and we do have all of these eggs coming in. So that is definitely a thing. It's currently July. We've got two months until the harvest. Once the harvest happens, of course, things will get a little bit better. We've got 2% barley fertility okay that's not great that's definitely not great we do have some barley down over here as well this is better barley fertility but it's also in the category of not great so that is under our treasury went up by 20 i mean waldbrand is now at 409 gold interesting now it's at 428. That has recovered significantly. Over here, it's 626 gold. And I would like to start up a trade route of roof tiles. I also want to start up a trade, a trade route of iron slabs. Okay. So there we go. We're going to get going on that. That seems absolutely fine for now. Do we want to export any charcoal? Yes, let's get going on that. Beautiful. So that seems fine. We do have some amount of gold coming in over here. In fact, it seems to be a pretty decent amount of gold. Down this way at this trading post, what are we exporting here? I think we're exporting berries and bread. Yeah. We can establish a trade route for bread. I'm not going to establish one for berries, but just bread for now. So that seems fine. Our lack of food over here is very, very, very concerning. So a lot of these stalls are currently empty. We do see some bread, some eggs, some berries. We're working on it, right? 
our meat is our meat production is definitely still happening as well. And we're just doing what we can on that front. However, very soon we're going to have our bakery back online. That should keep us going, but I feel like we should probably be importing some food here. Yeah, I feel like we should be. What's cheapest? The answer is meat, vegetables. Okay, let's import some meat and I want to keep a surplus of like 10 meat. We can establish a trade route for that as well. Okay. So there we go. Fingers crossed that that will not be net negative in our regional wealth, but also that that will keep us afloat on the food. We're very, very close to being net food positive right now, I think. But we need to have our communal oven be working. That not working year round is hurting us a lot. So that's one of the reasons why this field is so much larger than these others and why we added in these two fields. So this is going to take some time to actually come online, but that's fine. We're only about 23 days right now from the harvest and that will be fine. So popping back up over here, how are things going in Nooslow? We've got lots of food, fuel's doing okay as well. We're fine on that front. Okay. So we've got some small backyards available here, and we can expand that house. I think we can expand some of this housing as well. No, we already did that. Okay, that's fine. So we'll get another one of those going, and this field will be absolutely fine for the moment. So I want to check in on our military situation. So this is good, this is good, this is good. We are missing a recruit for this polearm militia, but that's the only person we're missing in Waldbrand at this point. Okay. That seems relatively fine. And of course we need to recruit in people for our retinues here. And then we've got this archer militia where all we need here is war boats. And that will be finished up soon enough. So I want to head into the trading post here and I want to trade war bows. We want to export war bows and we want to keep a grand total of about 10 of these. So that'll be fine. I'm not going to establish a trade route right now. We're just going to do it this way. Um, actually, do, do we have a price on that? No. We'll establish a trade route. Okay. So that seems fine, but we definitely need to let our regional wealth recover in a bunch of these locations, right? We spent a bunch of gold, and that means we're not going to be making a lot from our taxes. We've got 194 days until the royal tax. So we got to make that payment, and we will save up until then. That'll be fine. So we'll continue to head on forward at 12x speed. We've got 20 days now until our harvest. So that seems good. I'm not sure why this got so shiny all of a sudden, but okay. Food is still holding at one month remaining, which is of course questionable. Now, we definitely do want to grab bakeries and that is fine, but we need to get an upgrade done here. Burgage plots level three or higher. Our main problem here, I think is lack of barley and we'll have to consider that going forward. I think we're not planting enough barley to really level up our burgages any further. So that's understood. Now, we're going to hit September very, very shortly here. Yes, I'm aware that our food supplies are very low here, but the harvest is about to hit. And in theory, next year, the harvest will be significantly better. In theory. So we've got seven days until the harvest now. That's looking reasonably fine. Want to check in here. Still lacking one recruit for our polearm militia. Okay. Plus 72 gold there. That's pretty good. So we're up to 348. We need 520. We'll definitely have that. A new family started moving in in New Slow, which is not surprising. We've got seven unassigned families right now. Okay. 
What do we have in our farmhouse? That's maxed. In our windmill, it is maxed. In our communal oven, it is maxed. Okay. Interesting. We can put a family in our charcoal kiln. We can definitely put a family. Actually, I'm going to put two in our malt house. I'm not sure if we have a brewer. I don't think we have a brewer. So we would want to upgrade this to level two. And I'm going to upgrade this to level two as well. We do have a tavern here. I'm going to put one family in that. And then we're going to need two families for the brewer. Or for the brewers, plural. So that seems relatively fine. Now, how much barley do we have stored up right now? Let's see. That's the weaver's workshop. Where's our pantry at? Here's the granary. I don't see any barley in there. Do we already have one? Not that I'm aware of. Let's check in here. Do we have any ale? Let's see. That should be... We've got seven barley right now. Okay. What is ale classified under? No malt at this time. So that probably means that we don't have a... Yeah, and we have no ale. So we don't. We probably don't have a brewer. We do have a malt house here, and that is definitely got its families in it. So I'm going to have these two be brewers is, I think, the idea. That sounds good. Now, down here in Waldbrind, I think that we need one additional burgage here. Just one. So that's going to go, like, that. That's plot too small. Okay, that's a little sad that that's plot too small. Even that's plot too small? Okay. Hmm. That would work. So we're going to get that built. That is another set of mouths to feed. But the reason I want that is because we need a polearm militia. And we can put them to work in something, I'm sure. So we can put them to work in, like, the granary or something. Yeah, that would be fine. So that seems okay. It is, of course, September. And at this point, this field is almost harvested. This field is being worked on. Okay. Checking in on these other fields here. How is the harvest going? It's definitely going. Okay. So we need to have these fields be fallow. I want to set these to be growing things. So wheat is by far the best here. 40% flax isn't too bad, though. So that seems okay. If it's over 20% on the barley, then we'll do it like that. So up over here, barley seems to be better, but this will be wheat. This is just low fertility across the board. Actually, that could be flax. So that's fine. This is going to be replanted this year, but we're going to need to do a crop rotation. That's fine. These will remain fallow out over here. Okay. So barley 1% here means that this obviously we need to change what this is. This is going to be planted as flax, I think, down here. Or we'll go with wheat. Okay. So this up here is currently set to wheat. I'm going to set it to barley since that's over 20%. Cool. And we should be heading out here and starting to plow. This was flax this year. And what are we going to change that to? Well, let's take a look. It'll be wheat. Okay. So we're still working on harvesting down over here. I want to check in on this side. How's the harvest going? This field is going to be fallow, and we need to assign these, so that's fine. 86% barley, that seems okay. I think we'll have this one be wheat. 64% barley, this is 76. So that'll be barley, this will be wheat, and these will probably end up being flax up over here. Yeah, that looks good. So this is going to be fallow. And let's check in over here. We, of course, have work to do with all of this. This field is going to be fallow. This field is not quite harvested yet. Okay, so down here, what do we got? Flax. I'm going to make this be barley at 20% efficiency, barley at 39. 
This is going to be wheat. This is going to be flax. This is going to be wheat. And this is going to be barley, with this one being wheat. Okay. So something along the lines of that. And then we need to get these harvested, of course. So that's fallow. Okay, we're just waiting on this to be fully harvested. It is. Perfect. And let's get these wrapped up over here. This field is not yet fully harvested. Now it is. That will be fallow. And then this field will be fallow, but it's not quite harvested. Still waiting, I think, on this area. Yeah. Okay, so that will be fallow. All of these are flat fallow. These will all be planted. So we're getting started on the planting over here. That seems good. Now, down this direction, these fields are going to be fallow. So fallow here. This field will remain fallow. 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 And we've got a couple more fields over here to be worked on. So these fields still need to be harvested. These fields have started to be plowed. Okay. So this field will switch to fallow. This field will sit, switch to fallow as well. Cool. So now it's just this field that needs to be done. And these have all been assigned, so that looks good. This one is fallow, and this one will be fallow as well this year. Looks like for now, that's what we've got. So we'll continue to harvest. Okay, we should be done with this field now. We're very, very close to it. Looks like it's not quite finished harvesting yet. Should be incredibly close, though. Okay, so this field is wheat. I think that is fine in terms of its fertility. Okay, this guy is going to be fallow. And this field is being harvested. It's almost done. There we go. This field is almost done as well. And we're saving. Okay. Yep, that's fine. What do we got here? Well, I'm going to have this be barley. And then this field is very low right now. Yeah, these are all fallow here. We're moving to do some transportation. This is the only field that we need to determine, I think. This one here. 99% harvested. Just waiting for them to harvest one last spot. Now it is harvested. So we'll have that be barley. Okay. So down over here, of course, we need this field to be fallow. And this one will be as well, as will this one. This field is not quite harvested yet. So let's wrap up that harvest. Okay, this will be fallow. So I believe all of the fields are now set up. These should all be fallow over here. Yes, these should all be assigned. These should all be assigned. And the plowing, of course, has started out over here. That seems good. Up this direction, plowing has started, and these are all assigned, and these are all fallow. Perfect. Okay, now, back over this direction, we know that this field ultimately should get deleted. I'm going to wait until we've moved the wheat out of here. That's going to be the goal. Okay, so we're here in Waldbrind right now. We are very, very low on food, right? That is our big problem at this moment. That said, 10 meat coming in with the trader on the month stick should help matters, or some meat coming in with the trader anyway, should help matters. So we're getting these plows completed. That looks good. Yeah, stocks are getting exposed down over here. We're working on moving them. So this field still has 34 wheat. We're definitely working on getting all of that wheat moved out of there, but it is a slow process. So that seems okay for now. However, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we will monitor the status of our plowing. I think ultimately we are in a much better state at this point plowing-wise already. 
So that is looking very, very good. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Atala, Andy Magar, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Tommy, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.